that has been planted along the Hudson River on the Upper West Side of the elderly and the moms of the strollers are afraid to go down to the river because they move too slowly on the paved path. One of the reasons I moved to Riverdale from the Upper West Side with my family was Vancouver Park, and its direct and calm access to nature and weather. It was a draw for me as an avid runner, naturalist, and mom. I am concerned that the calm and quiet that my children love will be disrupted by the commercialization of the paved trail. I wonder what the long-term effect would be of bike kiosks and concessions to the fragile ecosystem. I am worried that the wetlands that are enjoyed and used by the Bronx Middle School that my husband teaches at will be gone. It is a critical part of their curriculum to go out and observe and explore. There are not many places such easy access left for local schools. I see the trees on the sides and I wonder if by expanding the path, we are encouraging faster travel as opposed to safer travel. I would miss the 63,000 square feet of trees and plants that would have to be cut down if you go an extra eight feet or so into the forest for a mile and a half. This mile and a half stretch of nature is so small the funds can be raised to maintain a world-class stone and dust path private. We have a concrete offer of support from NYC Runs. NYC Runs is guaranteeing $2,500 a year from events to go towards yearly maintenance. The said, if it is decided that the Putnam Trail is to have a stone and dust trail, it will donate funds for maintenance of that trail, as it has done for years for other park trails. And we believe there will be private donations by individuals and businesses. We also invite cycling organizations to join in to keep this world-class trail the envy of the region. If we can save this path with stone dust instead of paving it, we will be allowing access to the children and students of our neighborhood who will continue to learn the lessons taking care of the earth for future generations. A story that I've told my kids many times and many of you have probably heard it is called Tony the Circle Maker. And one day, Tony the Circle Maker was walking on the road and saw a man planting a carrot tree. Tony asked the man, how long will it take for this tree to bear fruit? The man replied, 70 years. Tony then asked the man, and do you think you will live another 70 years to eat the fruit of this tree? The man answered, perhaps not. However, when I was born into this world, I found many carrot trees planted by my father and grandfather, just as they planted trees for me. I am planting trees for my children and grandchildren, so they will be able to eat the fruit of these trees. Please help take care of this mile and a half trail. If not for you, then for future generations, because once we leave it, it's gone. I urge this board to vote no on tonight's resolution, which would approve City Park today.